This is like exactly what I would want out of a distortion tone and a clean tone. Fuck. That sounds just like Captain Sensible. Big sound, lightweight package. That's killer. And I get like four or five more because they weigh about as much as a shoebox. I really am liking the, um, the actual dirty channel, the gain channel on this. It sounds really cool. My name is Nick DePiro and I play guitar in the band Night Verses and Head Cave. Hi, I'm Tony Alleman from Vinyl Sin and Renaissance Rock Orchestra. I'm Charlie Paulson. I play in Goldfinger. How you doing? My name is Taylor Burrisoff. I'm from Graves in the Bad Weather. Hi, I'm Hillary from Honey Chain and I'm here checking out the new Black Star St. James amps in all their glory. Hey, I'm Lexi from the Paranoids here at uh, Black Star Los Angeles, USA. I'm out here checking out the new St. James. And uh, yeah, gonna mess around, play with some cleans, distortions. So I mean, first impressions for me, like the distortion is very clear, which I think is a very cool thing with a, like to have the, the balance between clean and distortion being that consistent. I mean, I do a lot of stuff where when I'm playing chords, I like to have as many notes kind of go in them as possible, and I'm always switching between, you know, kind of balancing rhythm and uh, lead at the same time. So being able to hear everything as I'm doing that is always very important. Just some of reverb. Yeah, I think it sounds red. It's really, it's loud, but it keeps the, keeps the clarity between both channels really well. sparkling like that and the response is just killer you know what I mean um, and it's nice and warm I like that reverb it sounds natural but it's not obnoxious you know what I mean dope <laughs> That sounds just like Captain Sensible. That is killer. Right on. Fuck, that sounds killer. Th yeah. This. That's so tight. Like, unlike some other very big amps that are used by a lot of my peers that just have no fucking response that are not tight. Like I like, I like that immediacy. This is more my speed. This amp is fucking awesome. Um, uh, this is just a little bit more what I'm used to playing, for sure. Uh, it's just a little uglier and nastier. It's 
just a really pretty amp. I like this voicing. I like this. Like good old, like rock and roll, just like clean edge of crunch kind of thing. Dig it. It's got a little bit more than the other one, I think. Actually sounds really fucking good, dude. Like, <laughs> I love the look of the thing. It's like got that old school, like vintage vibe. It's got balls. I really like the gain stage on it. It's got like a really nice clean too. I find like with a lot of amps, it's either got a, a good clean or a good gain stage. Very rarely does it have both. Yes, I absolutely love the gain stage on this one. This is the 6L6s on this guy. Yes. Really ballsy, really ballsy. You can, I feel like you don't really even need any pedals to go into that one. You could kind of achieve what you're doing with like a high gain pedal or even like a fuzz, like a really brutal fuzz. Um, and it's clear too, it doesn't really muddy up. And then the thing that I like most is like you maintain that warmth too, like on the clean setting, it's super warm. Yeah, very warm, very full. <laughs> Beautiful, full sound. I love the clarity. The mid boost really comes through too, and the sag feature is nice too. Nice tonal option. Sustain is pretty cool, it sounds good. And so I'm just gonna try a few things with my Fender Tornado that has the um, uh, stock uh, pickup and then I also have a P90, so you can hear a little bit of a different tone. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead in the neck pickup, which is just in the humbucker, and just on clean and see what it sounds like. So it has a super nice um, ring to it. Um, but now we're gonna hit the P90. And I'm gonna get a little bit of crunch and just go through like a little bit of a riff so you can hear that sound. And that's just amp, by the way. got a super cool crunchy sound to it. I really am liking the, um, the actual dirty channel, the gain channel on this. It sounds really cool. So you can see it has a lot of cool um, actual um, kind of sustain, which is really fun. No, it's cool though. I mean, just even the way that you can hear that the, the actual like overtones is really cool. Super overdrive is not that's just oh, wow. all that's just all amp. 
you, into the P90. Even though it's elevated, you're still getting a lot of bass. No, I know. That's why I stepped back for a minute because I was like, I'm not learning in the speaker path and I wanted to hear it actually. Um, so yeah, no, the fact that it is elevated, it's, that is like a lot of like bottom end that I wasn't expecting. Yes, yeah, it's very reactive. I think it's a super dynamic amp for what it is. Definitely has tax. So much headroom in it. Versus a simple, soft, and subtle. I have to say that's my favorite one so far, for sure. The gain, the clean is so clear, but I love this freak. So good. I mean, normally also when I'm playing, I have a bunch of effects. So I have like delays and things like that going. So to emulate that for me, would be boosting this reverb a bit, which I still, even with the chords, like if I were to play that with a reverb pedal, it would be a little bit super, like too washed out. And I feel like with the amp, if you wanted to have reverb like kind of ready to go like that, it actually doesn't sound that bad with the distortion. Yeah, I feel like these are very diverse amps. Like I'm more of a metal-ish player, I guess, but I feel like anyone, like it's not like a metal head, but it captures the essence of a metal head while also being like just a good, just a good amp, I don't know. <laughs> this is really sick. <laughs> it's giving me back everything I'm giving it. Do you know what I mean? Where a lot of amps just don't fucking do that. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm being a little bit, I'm being a little savage with this thing and it's, it, it can take it. You know what I mean? I mean, it's nasty. I love that. This is, uh, you bring this amp to a fight. <laughs> oh, dude, come on, man. That's just like, this is like a prop. <laughs> Dude, no way. But uh, overall, I, I think dynamics, key element of this amp, compression, a key element of this amp. I mean, honestly, for me, like the, this sounds like a really ready to go, just like badass tone. They all do, for sure. I don't, like when I say like a compliment to this is not to negate, or negate these. It's just this is like exactly what I would want out of a distortion tone and a clean tone. Oh, and it's pretty light. Nice, they're so small too. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, portability wise, psh. yeah, I like, I, they look clean too. And I didn't even, the illuminated light is sick. Yeah, let's check this thing out. Cause it sounds like it's heavy. <laughs> and it's not at all. What did you guys do? 23 pounds? To a guy like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that thing is nothing. That's not gonna break my back carrying it in at venues at all. Big sound, lightweight package. That's killer. Woo! Yeah, that's killer. So light. I don't know what you guys did, but I like it. Yeah, that's gonna be easy. Carrying into venues too, like biggest thing. Sometimes you ain't always got someone to help you or a cart. Having something lightweight is it's awesome. Not gonna break your back. Oh my God, yeah, it's super light. <laughs> Yeah, this is super light. Oh my God. <laughs> my little lunch pail. So light. This is great for touring. Yeah, great for touring. Cause it's still, it's like not that big. And then also it's not that heavy. It's great that you guys are uh, re, like re, uh, I don't wanna say reinventing, but like you guys are kind of making some new stuff and like other like amps aren't doing that. They're just putting out the same thing always. 
yeah, it's cool. It's light. Sounds freaking good. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks for having me. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that's for a 50 watt. Wow. No, that's, yeah, and this is my left hand. Wow. No, that is super cool. That is really cool. Like this kind of opens up a lot of ideas in terms of like, you could almost have two and run it and run in stereo. Um, but yeah, no, that's super cool. That's amazing. A 50 watt, one by two. I mean, I have heads that weigh way more than that. Wow. And this is how many watts? 50. Wow. That's crazy. No, that is super light. That's way light. You can hear that they're distinctly voiced differently. I mean, that's, you can, without a doubt. I gotta get one. I gotta get one. It's a killer deal, especially for like a gigging musician too, who's playing a lot, carrying a lot of their stuff into venues nonstop. I mean, between the sound, the versatility of it, and the weight of it, it's killer amp. Absolutely knocked it out of the park, Black Star. Knocked it out of the park.